Hey, me skipping. Clever, clever. I know, it's very windy. This is helping me with my knees. My mini trampoline, guys. It's all purple all the way through, all the way around. Hi guys, welcome. It's a seven day isolation, but what I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm going for a walk. So I'm going to take some fresh air. Nice little birds around. The roads are really quiet around here. Um, not much cars to be honest because, you know, really I want to go down to As to Live In because my hands are really sore with washing. Anybody gets that? Comment below. Um, I find that they come out in a rash, even when I use normal soap or anything. Um, so I am going to get a pack of simple soap uh, to use and hopefully that soap will be okay for me because my auntie is um, currently having skin issues with normal soap so I may be following suit with her um, obviously I've got osteoarthritis um, I done skipping with my daughter yesterday out of our back garden and honestly it was very painful when I just done two skips of the skipping rope if I had a bigger one fair dues but yeah, I only had two skips and I heard my knee went crick. Oh, it was so loud and I couldn't actually walk tidy. But yeah, hopefully we'll catch you at the house later. Take care guys and stay safe. Right guys, uh, we're, well, we're actually chilling in the house uh, this afternoon. So, um, I'm going to show you something. Not all the animals are chilling out, I tell you. This weather's amazing, but we are actually self-isolating, possibly a lockdown in a couple of days, I don't know when, or weeks, but they should say on the, on the news a little bit later, so we'll find out more. Um, yeah, um, I'll show you where the cat is and where the rabbit is. There is Faith, she is pregnant. Of course, I think she's got a couple of days left. I don't know how many, but she is huge. There is Molly. Some bathing. Lovely. And the rabbit, I don't know if you can see it, is in the hatch. But I'll come to that now. There she is, guys. Yep, there she is. People watching. Ah! Well, my first school's workout. Yeah. A thousand, yeah. a thousand years maybe. That was about four years ago. To like two then? Your PE teacher? I am hot. Your virtual PE teacher? Yeah. I knew I was on the right path to helping people. This is Joe, guys. Right. He's on uh, yeah. online, yeah. and he does it every morning. I'm not this check in, and then check I can't see it. Yeah, it's an important lesson that is that even when no one's taking notice, no one's watching, no one's listening. Go away, me. You have to keep going. If you believe in yourself and you love what you do, don't overdo it, though. Do don't overdo it. Ten or a million, it just makes you happy. You just keep doing it. And it grows. It builds. It really does. Right, ten seconds. Come on, faster. Bang, 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 bang. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Straight punches. 
Keep going. Reach out. Four, three, two, two one. one. Oosh. Okay, Nikki. Shut up. <gasps> Anywhere in Europe? Anywhere in Asia? <gasps> Sophie in Cumbria, all the way from the UK. Cumbria. We've got Nicole and Kiara in Wales. Thank you, girls, for taking part. Wales. One more Nikki. I'm Me? dying. <laughs> Richard, age six in New York. Thank you, Richard. Right, we're going to the frog taps. Let's go. So remember, frog taps. Or just touch the ground, stand up. Frog taps. Yay! Wow! Look at me. So we were encouraging the Prime Minister to go further this morning. We called on him to take compulsory action to enforce social distancing. And it looks like that's what he's done this evening. So we do support him in the drastic measures he's taken tonight. It's total force. The said these measures will be enforced. Four kittens. will have powers to disperse One groups. on top of the other. That is workable. Well, I hope it is. And obviously the Prime Minister's statement tonight has made here. Good girl face. Good yes, girl. Alexander McKenzie, who's in Glasgow for us this evening. And Alexander, first you of are hungry. Has been speaking in the last few minutes. That's right, she has, Fiona. And over the weekend, she's been speaking in increasingly stark, Good girl. serious language as this virus has spread quicker than they had originally thought. Good girl. As Good say, girl. first minister has spoken in the last few minutes, and this is what she had to say. Hi guys, welcome. It is Tuesday. Um, I don't know the date, but it'll be in the description. So, I had a bath last night, and it's currently a second week. Um, well, first week of school for the children, and it's two days now. So we're in the second day of isolation, possibly a lockdown now. Um, they lock down uh, soon. I think it's like the UK itself. I don't know if you're going to properly lock down uh, Lon London. Um, but yeah, um, I think I'm quite pleased with that because there's a lot of people that doesn't listen and social distancing is the main priority so yes um how does people think about this um my fact that i'll give first is that i do feel a little bit stressed um i feel like I can't see my son, my eldest, no more. Um, yeah, um, we can't see uh, Kieran no more or give him a hug and a kiss. Um, miss all of that. Um, I don't know when this is going to all blow over, but it feels like if we're in a dream. Anybody experience that? comment below um you can share your thoughts of how you're feeling um and let's bond together with the the thing that's happening um praying mostly on a sunday with church because we're going live on the uh, zoom if you know zoom is an app but you can still get in contact with lots of people around the world so that's really nice. Um, depends on how Zoom works because uh, church, my church, our church, sets it up. So they used Zoom, and I just actually accepted uh, the invite. So yeah, um, hopefully you all keeping safe, and I will uh, upload some vlogs later. But for now, I am going to have a rest later. I am not going out of this house. We have got some masks that's going to be delivered soon to have protection. Um, currently, 
uh, my hands. I don't know if you can see them. Yes, you can see them a little bit. I haven't got my ring on because my fingers actually swollen sometimes. But my hands are really sore. I don't know if you're going to bleed at some point. But same as this one, guys. I don't know if you can see properly, but I'll show you more when it's a bit sort of like shady. But yeah, um, I'm using um, I'm using a soap as fragrance free and perfume. Well, fragrance perfume free. Nothing, no artificial colours or nothing in them and they make my hands a little bit better so hopefully in a couple of days they may be a little bit better so yeah hopefully you keep safe guys and we can get through this together stay at home guys and yeah bye guys guys here's my mask that i made I made one for Thomas too, and a little, but I think we got proper masks coming, so we're not taking any chances, although that, you know, you can still catch, but, um, just want to be safe, but honestly, it's like, if uh, we do have problems, we can try to avoid certain things, so, yeah, um, it's getting brighter out there, guys. That's the rainbow that the kids done. So if um, let me take this off. That's what I want to show you. If your child wants to actually um, do a rainbow and colour it in, stick it in the window. It's a rainbow of hope. And yes, uh. It's all around the world. They're gonna uh, children like to stick some rainbows in the window. So do that and put it in the window that your child uh, will colour in. So yeah, um, relaxing. I may go for a rest a little bit later on after taking my pill, and uh, we'll catch you a little bit later. Guys, we are walking this evening to get fresh air. It's one form of exercise while daughter is out on her bike in front of me, miles away, because she's going to the, where the statue used to be, but it's not there. So we're at our local green. So that's one form of exercise we've done today. She did do homeschooling this morning, and she done really well. She started to play on the computer. Obviously, she loves uh, playing star i don't know what you call it now but i'll actually uh ask her starville or something or it's quite a good game and between my husband and daughter i've set the game up to on my laptop and it's gonna be fun because it's like this farm thing and you can interact with people and have some chickens and animals on your farm and do things and I think you can earn too so yeah have a look at this guys it's so kind of quiet but I've seen a few people walking their dogs at this time of night so I'll change you around there's Amy on her bike don't know if you can see her yep and then it's all quiet guys um this is a path that we followed and i think it leads up to where the houses is where you can see the car so we've come along here and now we can only go this way and back around to the house in there yeah because we can't stay that long so she's enjoying. I'm going to do her other bike soon in the back garden and she can ride that one instead. I used to do that before. Um, so guys, um, I'm going to ask my daughter what's that game. She's Star... what is this? Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley is called and uh, my daughter's on it. So does anybody in the world play that too? Like if you see anybody? I bet. 
Yeah. It's like an online game, so that's what me, um, my husband and daughter is playing. I'm trying to generally get into it, so I think I'll start tonight, don't I? We can play together. And, and maybe Roblox. Yeah, possibly Roblox, have a little bit of a playing thing later on. I did actually have a sleep because I was a bit upset due to this coronavirus thing. Um, I did break down on the phone to my dad, so who's struggling? Comment below. Um, how are you doing with homeschooling? Good? Yeah, she done good, but she had uh, two things wrong on each sheet, so... Uh, no, on one sheet, actually. Uh, one. On one sheet, so... Um, I will explain to her tomorrow because uh, I was a bit tired today and I didn't do nothing much. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back now, get my trampoline out, do a form of exercise on a trampoline. Okay. Why go that way? I don't, I don't like going that way. Okay. So I go over to the park and then back. Okay. Yeah, but we can't go to the park because it's shut. No, we'll go over to the park and then we'll go back. Yes, okay, but as long as we don't bang into any people okay oh, so yeah we're gonna head back home after this walk and get back in the nice and warm possibly have hot chocolate yeah have hot chocolate and settle down for the night i suppose um i have been sleeping on the sofa yesterday as a uh, faithful would be loved cat who's actually uh, younger, has given birth to four little beautiful kittens. So, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. They're all lively. they fed probably by mum, properly by mum. She's coping quite well. Um, two is like a match. It's like twinnies. Um, and the other ones are quite dark in colour with a smudge on the nose, so I think we can call it smudge, <laughs> which is going to be nice. Um, but yeah, no former people as yet, but we don't actually come across a person or anybody. I'm waiting for masks from eBay, but I don't know when they're going to come, so I may contact the seller to know when they're going to come, because we need the masks, and like if we go on out walking, the N95s that I've bought would be nice. They're not too pricey on eBay. Um, they're going to be protective for us, but yeah, it's going to be one of our things. So nobody's around us. Um, so yeah, we shall catch you when we go home. And say hello, hello Michelle Quint, yes, and everyone. So, right, I say I'll do my best to go through the comments as well as uh, what it is. So, there you go. Uh, next one from Shaneshi. Could you say hello to Amy, who's nine, and Thomas, who's five, from Shaneshi? Hello, Amy, hello, Thomas. Okay, during the lockdown, fantastic, good to hear. When they have been doing homeschooling, also playing outside, very good. Um, uh, in their spare time, they have loved doing making crafts and colouring and baking cakes. Ooh. Honey, are you hungry? Yeah. Are you hungry? <laughs> yeah. What do you want? Bogies? No, not bogies! No, it's colour bogies! Oh my god. <laughs> Again, we're staying at Shaneshi. Hello, Cody and the Cairo. Hi, guys. It's me again. Yes, uh, I am only going to the local shop. Um, so apparently, uh, husband's at home with the two kids while I go to the shop. We are in lockdown currently, so we only allowed about say the one or two persons out at a time at the house. It's like a daily kind of exercise so that's what I'm doing I am actually currently walking to the shop and then to my dad's to drop off some bag of chips and back home and that's what I'm gonna do so yeah um it's a lovely day today 
I'm a lot better uh, as from a small throat or nearly if I did that way poor Thomas um, uh, he's got a headache so basically he's resting up in the house <sighs> thank you I know what this is now. Yeah, it looks really cool. Good boy. What is it? Well done. Good boy. It's a learning game, it says, isn't it? Sixty-seven. Six and seven. No. 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 Whatever eggs fly, we're throwing away.